Okay, so what I've gone and done is I've marked these out. One band, here's the other, it goes all the way around and it stops over here. I've got it marked, but I, you know, I gotta transfer that mark over still. That should do the full radius, or that portion of the radius of the door from there all the way to there, and also likewise the other side, and then that one, and that one. The reason why it's really important for me to get it right is because this distance, the string that I have here, measures this here. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to use this extra portion here and eventually maybe put it here as the double wallet. That way, I mean, I know the heat rises and this would be the bottom, but I think it would make a difference. I, it, well, it couldn't hurt. Okay, that actually worked pretty well. That should do just fine. I'll just have to trim it there. There, or just flush it up there and then trim the one side. And then when the door closes, it'll land right on there. Only thing is, I wish I'd actually taken the paint off first before I cut the band, but that's okay. I shouldn't be too hard to grind it off. Okay, so I cleaned up the bands. That should be easier. I don't have to do it later that way. And then this will land. This door will land right onto there. So you see it's just coming down like crazy. Okay, so I got the top mostly welded. In retrospect, I really should have cleaned off all that paint, I made it for a bit of a tricky weld, but I think it's all right. You can see the penetration's still gone through and the paint that's that's gone there. There we go. Unfortunately, I ran out of welds, so I gotta go back to the hardware store. But, you know, that's the way these things go sometimes. Okay, so I just got back, got welding, it was going great, and had my first bird's nest. I'm trying to figure out if I can somehow get it on there, but I, I don't know, I think I might have to just snip it off and figure it out, just start over. Okay, so that really sucked. It's fixed now, I took it all out, I snipped it in here, pulled it out, basically had to hold it so it wouldn't keep unspooling, untied it, there was like a bit of a knot in there, it got messy, but you know what? I've heard that it happens to everyone sooner or later, so lesson learned. If any of you guys have tips as to how to prevent that, uh, let me know. I think in the future what I might do is when I'm putting it on, is put a piece of tape across here. Then when I snip the wire, because what happened was it completely unraveled, and then I tried to gather it back up. I think maybe if there's some kind of barrier there, Maybe well, it'll probably still come loose. Anyway, if you guys have any tips, let me know. Thanks. Okay, so I ran into yet another problem. All of a sudden it stopped feeding. Meanwhile, I confirmed that everything was okay here. Tried to pull it back and eventually snapped it right out of there. So now I had lines stuck in there. Uh, what I think I figured out is, I think it was this tip. I think it was somehow, oh, let me get on the camera there. It was gummed up right in there. So, it didn't really focus, but you get the idea. So, I pulled this off and was luckily had a little bit of slack in there and I was able to pull it forward, so I think we're okay. So the bottom turned out way nicer. You can see I'm getting the penetration because there's uh, the burn off from the, the paint there. Compared to this, you can see I wasn't really getting as much penetration. I bumped up the power at the bottom, and also because I grinded off all that paint, I think that helped dramatically. So the question then is, 
where does the seam go? It makes sense to have it lower. As chance would have it, this is the first scribe line. And it doesn't look like a bad spot to put it. The handle will be here. It attaches to the upper panel so that when you pull it down, you still have access to it. It doesn't look like a bad spot. Okay, it is a beautiful day, minus two degrees, sunny. Can't ask for much better weather for this kind of stuff. The bottom van was tacked on last night, as was this guy. I gotta do a bit of fixing here, so I'm gonna have to get in it, which is a great time then to cut this seam, put the hinges in on both sides, so that they can fold down and I can start working in here. I think once they're down, after the doors at least are done, then it might be time to actually build a rough frame here and likewise on this side and then a cross piece because I've noticed that this has really started to bow in if you see how this lands I'm trying to lever it here so ideally that should seat in there nicely so it shouldn't be too hard coax it on over YouTube, so I just ground down a whole bunch of the weld that I did I'm noticing a lot of proud spots so I can definitely tell you I need a little bit more practice I don't know what I do with the settings or I don't know I just got to fuss with it I think it's an inexpensive welder so that might have something to do with it but let's not blame the welder just yet I also test fit that cross brace there and then also the one rail so this would be the female part that would kind of house the the, uh, we'll call it the grill apparatus. So the male part would ride up and down, hung on aircraft cable on a rod that goes across here. Rod comes through, pokes out of the end, and then I'll have a, like a ratchet and pulse system. I'm thinking of just using an old chop saw blade, and then, you know, a little spring and click, 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 click as you turn it. And yeah, that's where I'm at. So I think I'm gonna make sure everything's fine and true here. I don't need to worry about this gap because the, the smoke's going to go underneath and then up because the the side smoker's going to exist there. And in case, I was a little worried that this isn't going to be enough room for all the smoke to come up, but you know what, once you have the tuning plates, you can always just remove a tuning plate and then there'll be lots of airflow. So I don't think we'll have a problem there. 
I'm just thinking it through, and um, I think what I might do is I'll weld that so I know that it's square. The hard part is knowing how it's going to be square on that axis. Unless, of course, maybe I lay it on the table and do it first. But point is, I don't want to really weld it there and there and at the top yet, because this female portion of the front side of the barbecue needs to mirror perfectly with the other side. Because if when, when the mechanism goes up and down, or the grill apparatus goes up and down, if they're not perfectly in line, it's going to pinch either high or low, depending on where it is, or left and right. It needs to be perfectly plumb and perfectly plumb, or rather they need to be perfectly parallel. Okay, so I got it rigged up, I'm just going to tack it. I think I've got it right. So, I got it square. I know that much. From this edge to that edge, it's eight and a quarter. From this edge to that edge, it's eight and a quarter. So it should be centered. And then last but not least, there we go. That's an inch. And it's an inch. So that should be perfect. Alrighty, so here's the plan. I'm losing light, so I'm trying to make this quick. We got a pipe in there, spaced out with a bit of paper. I got the same thing on the other side. This one's only tacked here and here, so it can hinge forward. The distance from here to here is slightly smaller than here to here. I think it's by about a sixteenth. So things are looking good so far. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece from one pipe to the other pipe weld it on, and then those, this guy and this guy should be parallel. And as I move it up, since it's wider there, it should be fine. And then when I move it up, I can nudge that in a bit because it'll hinge ever so slightly on that tack and that tack, and everything should be fine. I hope. Okay. It kind of got, no, I'm just messing with you. It'll work great. Paper got pulled out, it's smoldering a bit there still. Paper is pulled out, it's just tacked. I don't want to put too much on there because there's one thing that I've learned about welding is it warps the hell out of the metal. So I'm gonna let it cool, maybe just tack, 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 and then that should be fine. So I'm gonna try and keep it parallel because obviously you need one lift point and another. When I lift it from one point, I can pivot this way. But I'm gonna try and pull back here. slide nicely and the positioning of the height seems to be good there's enough room here for the fire basket and the coals the grill will sit on top of there there's an attachment point or room enough for an attachment point here run the line up guard and you know you get the idea so yeah success so far so good I just got to be careful not to warp it